The time of wood is made of gestures. These are set, attentive, passed on from generation to generation. Suspended between the past and the future, it is punctuated with indelible memories of when we played among shackles and stools and the smell of pine wood and beech invaded the room. It is like the sound of the woods where your father that day had brought you. The time of wood is the time of nature, slow and continuous. All around the woods breathe. The sun filters through the branches. In the earth, little by little the seed grows, and the plant becomes strong. A cycle starts again and yields new fruits. Moreover, the time of work has come from nature's time to things. The trunk is transported to be processed. Every action has, at its base, clear understanding. The woods must be protected, and this is done by following precise and scrupulous regulations. For every tree felled, new ones are planted. wood permits itself to be transformed, panels are born, block boards or plywood, layers made of shavings and fiber. In addition, yes, no part of the wood is done away with. Everything left over is recycled to obtain new products. The panels are piled one on another, kept ready to be sent, delivered and ready for their first processing. Beams enter the machines and come out smooth and well finished. The wood is shaped. It is flexible and resistant at the same time. It furnishes and brings warmth. It is ideal for designing complex and durable structures that become parts of our lives, like our roof or the ceiling we look at when we first open our eyes in the morning. Life, similar to wood, is made of many things parts that remain the same through time or times of unexpected novelty that open a new horizon and make you look differently at what you are used to having beside you.
What is a bit like architecture, which was able to draw suggestion and revolutionary ideas on how to build and live from wood? Wood that is unique from the point of view of quality, form, and color, and is the key to a sustainable architectural practice centered on awareness. It stimulates us to become passionate and to design, dream, find our own way, and leave a mark. Behind each element used for design and behind everyday objects lay a hidden world invisible to most. It is made of ingredients knowledgeably combined of minds who have studied resistance, hardness, density, and rigidity to create machines able to follow the wood and valorize every one of its characteristics and thus obtain small and large masterpieces. These imposing machines are ingenious works which must be programmed and handled with care. There are careful hands which are always able to respect and listen to the wood. People who make the difference day after day, that touch transforms everything. Every element assembled perfectly works perfectly. This brings us to the time of using. The wood becomes an object of everyday use, useful and concrete. Present and future, the sector of wood opens great opportunities and responsibilities for whoever is very young but knows how to look ahead. Whoever intuitively knows that design, architecture, processing, intuition regarding new uses and perspectives go hand in hand. From labs at school, you can imagine yourself, one day, busy at ambitious projects, working to build whatever idea comes to mind, from the most simple to the most complicated, from the furniture for a house to the wooden components used, for example, in a camper. When each element is ready, nothing is left to be done but the delivery. Even the packing material can be made of wood, recyclable, solid, and resistant. Logistic optimization and environmental sustainability go hand in hand. 
wooden packaging material has characteristics that make it ideal for the transportation of objects of any size and form. It can become huge and majestic. Otherwise, the packaging can transform itself into objects we use regularly. It may become a wooden box for flowers or fruit, for example. Wood that is with us even in intimate or profound moments, when a simple gesture may reveal an intention and communicate a thousand words. Fixtures and windows frame moments, glances, and the passage between within and without. Light, insulating structures built to resist tens of years have rendered many companies famous. Wood, thanks to painting, is ennobled and protected. It is a delicate process in which nothing is left to chance, and which is studied nowadays using the most modern of techniques in order to protect the environment to the utmost. In the lab, numerous tests are conducted on colors. This is done to define density, to verify whether, on a polished surface, the paint reflects the light homogeneously. Furthermore, it is done to test its resistance to usury. Together with the painting of wood, we consider its polishing. This itself is a complex process that is able to exalt wood and bring out its grain, make its surface perfectly smooth, shiny, protected and durable. Every irregularity has been eliminated, the surface is smooth. All that has to be done now is to take it to its destination as an assembled musical instrument. Wood is an integral part of our culture, including our musical culture. Take, for example, drums. Slowly, with careful, knowing, expert movements, the instrument comes to life. In the mind of its creator, every drum already has a clear identity. Each part is anchored to the others, and details are decided. The verification of the sound perfection takes place and we come to create sound columns that are unique, immortal, to be listened to over and over again. Wood is also this, emotion. It is thanks to design, to the process of study that starts at school, to dedicated programs, to the use of modern software that form each object we obtain much more than what the eye can see. Competitive businesses are at the base of each result. From the sheets of paper and the computer the design develops and takes form, measured and evaluated from every point of view. Thus, that simple little table, built using your own hands, in reality assumes a deeper meaning. 
your school enables you to understand your life and experience fill this meeting with immortal values handed down from father to son the past and the tradition remain indelibly impressed in a present that develops and looks to the future to innovation never forgetting its origins We are back to the beginning, to the trees, fundamental for the protection of our climate and for the life of the earth. Wood, an excellent ecological material, a renewable source to be used while respecting rigorous rules regarding planting and forest management with a balance of young and old plants which go to thicken our forests. Each piece of wooden furniture that we find in our homes holds prisoner for its entire life, the carbon of the trunk it was made from. The use of wood in the production of furniture and other durable goods leaves the CO2 absorbed by the trees, fixed for the next 100 years. Thanks to an ever deeper awareness that each of us is part of a greater whole that has to be respected and defended it is possible to look ahead and guarantee a future to the generations to come.